Hey what's going on YouTube this is Dottie with Ignite Cinemas and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to do a spotlight effect using Final Cut Pro 10. Let's get it! So welcome to the channel everybody if you are new here please consider subscribing as I always give Final Cut Pro 10 tutorials, gear reviews, and filming tips and tricks that's what we provide here on the channel and today I'm going to be showing you a Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial on how to highlight certain parts of clips you filmed aka the spotlight effect. First things first you're going to want to create a new project and insert your clips accordingly. Now for the first scene we had a water gun fight and let's say I want to spotlight and highlight my stepson right here during the whole duration of it. So what we're going to do first is we're going to come to our generators tab which should be up here with the text and we're going to go to generators and it will be under solids. We're going to get the custom and we're going to drag that down and we're going to want to fill it to the full duration of our clip. Once we have that, I mean there's nothing we can do because it's a black blob black screen over it so we're gonna come over here compositing and we're gonna brush down that opacity down a bit and you can use the cursor or if you want to enter it manually you can do so so I'm gonna do about 90 91 and now that we have that we have this overlay of our scene on top of our scene now what we're gonna do next is we're gonna cut a hole in the generator so that we can highlight the person we want to highlight or the thing you want to highlight so what we're going to do is we're going to go under the effects tab and we're going to go under mask and we're going to go to shape mask. We're going to go ahead and drag that on top of our generated clip. And as you can see right now, what comes standard when you use this effect is that the inside is black and then everything's regular. We want to kind of invert this. So to do so over here under the shape mask, we're going to hit invert mask. And this is more we want. Now, as you can see, you have this rectangular box. And on this, I want to highlight my stepson. So we're going to actually move the box accordingly and move these green balls around. That's about right. And we could come over here to the feather button if we want to add some feather to it and some fall off if we can adjust and eyeball accordingly. Now let's say we want to fade in and out this effect. What we're going to do is use a video animator. So we come down to our generator and we hit control V as a shortcut on our keyboard and the video animation tab opens up here. Now we have a lot of things on here as you can see but right now we're going to focus on the opacity part right here and we double click that. Now let's say we want to highlight him right here. So we're going to drag the left side over to about there and let's say we do it right here and then when we do a playback, I don't quite like that, hold on, we can adjust accordingly. We get that effect where we're highlighting the subject that we want to highlight and there you go. Now let's say we want to take it to the next level and we want to highlight something that actually moves. Yes, we're going to be using a keyframe, but the same principles apply. Now for this next scene, we're playing baseball. And you know, I hit it, Ken Griffey style, home run, out the park. No steroids needed, no Barry Bonds, y'all. And let's say I want to highlight this ball. So we're going to do the same thing. Come over here to the generators, custom, and we go ahead and drop it. now. For this, I want to drop it around when the ball is coming, which is right here. We're going to knock the opacity down. We go to Effects, Mask, Shape Mask, drop that on top of it. Don't forget to invert. And we are going to adjust accordingly. We're going to highlight the ball. Now, as you can see, the ball is moving. And this is what we're going to do. And you might see like this happen on highlights on Sports Center and all that fun jazz. This is how you do it. We're going to select our generator clip, make sure it's selected. We're going to hold Control V on our keyboard, and it's going to bring up our video animation tab. Now, if we want to do the opacity, we can double click that, click these edges. The main part we're going to focus on is up top under the shape mask. And we're going to add a keyframe here. So we're going to make sure our ball's there. 
and at our marker right here we're going to come up top and we're going to come to modify and we're going to add keyframe to selected effect in animation editor this is how we're going to do our keyframe and we're going to select that then we're going to use our keyboard and we're going to follow the ball and we're going to keep following it and when we look back you can see it following the ball accordingly as the ball drops past the fence and in this case we, we can move our generator back in so when we know it's completely over the fence it goes back to the regular clip it's a celebration and that's how you do it easy peasy I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial on how to do the spotlight effect using Final Cut Pro 10. If you did and this helped you out, please smash that like button for me right now. And if you want to see more Final Cut Pro 10 tutorials in the future, as well as gear reviews and filming tips and tricks, hit that red button. Subscribe to the channel so you never miss a video. And as always, don't forget to ignite. See ya.